Okay. All right. Give me your name. My name is Michael Stratton. And what's your favorite food? My favorite food. Well, that's a hard question to answer because I have a lot of favorite foods. Okay, give me three of them. Three of my favorite foods, yeah. or you, would you like? Let's narrow it down to how about three of my favorite vegetables. Okay, okay, and we say at least one that represents your culture. Okay, I'd say a food that I enjoy that represents my culture would have to be sweet potatoes. Okay, sweet potatoes is one. It is a vegetable that I used to eat. You know how kids are finicky. Uh, but sweet potatoes was one of the few vegetables as a kid. I was a finicky eating kid. Uh, but the way my grandmother would hook them up, you know, uh, they were very good and very uh, uh, nourishing. Um, and it's a lot of different ways that you can uh, cook a sweet potato, right? You can bake it. You can, uh, uh, you know, make the traditional sweet potato, to, you know, with the... Some people put marshmallows and all that in it. I just use the regular... I, I, I won't give my recipe out, but... Uh, uh, you, and then sweet potato pie, right? Uh, so sweet potato is uh, something that is uh, dear to my heart, and uh, I even... My daughter enjoys them now, so that's... Uh, a sort of full circle you know my grandma would probably she's probably smiling down on that every time i make them for her and she just eats them up you know so yeah sweet i would i would say sweet potatoes okay. yeah so um what is the memory you kind of talked about it a little bit but what is the memory you have about food eating with your family holidays well when my when my grandmother was around uh when she was still alive we would all go to her house on Sundays for dinner, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, we would have a ton of, you know, down south traditional uh, Sunday meals, uh, you know, and then, so yeah, sweet potatoes, that, that brings me back to, you know, the Sunday dinners at grandma's house, you know, just uh, remembering being around family, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of families, now it's 2017, a lot of us have sort of lost touch with that, you know, bringing the family together and sitting down you know it's a it's not just about eating uh it's an actual uh act of uh family community right or uh family togetherness if you will you know as far as uh, uh conversating having a dialogue about something solving problems There's a lot of things go on at the dinner table in our, in our community in our culture uh, but we you know 2017 and Facebooks and you know all the social media we sort of have uh, a lot of us not everybody uh, but a lot of a lot of us have sort of you know start steered away from that and uh, you know I try to at least sit down with my child now I try to sit sit down with her uh, at least at least three times a week if I can you know okay. uh, you know schedules working you busy so it, I, I get it but um, it's still important though to uh, sit down with your family and have that 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 meal you know it's not just nourishment for your your body it's also nourishment for your your soul you know that's that's why they call it soul food so how old is your daughter my daughter's four do you all cook together are you trying to we cook? cook we cook together so uh yeah we do fun recipes she's a finicky eater like i was okay. uh but we i try to do things incorporate veggies and uh fruits and all that type of stuff so yeah we we, we cook together yeah Okay, so what is your definition of um, healthy food or even healthy eating? Um, healthy food is food that is, you know, clean, uh, uh, free of pesticides, um, and food that is nourishing for the body, you know. Uh, before any medicine was formed, you know, the, the, the original medicines were from the plants. And uh, so um, healthy food is food that is you know good for your body and clean and uh fresh and local and you know all of that stuff you know so um where do you shop to get healthy food from? um Is there any community spots you go to so i when frogtown farm has their you know their harvest mm -hmm. uh i can get fresh produce from them uh there's a lot of uh community gardens in the area urban farm and garden alliance uh, Melvin Giles, Megan Finney, they have a, a ton of uh, 
uh, community gardens in the Rondo Frogtown area. Uh, so I try to, you know, I'm, I'm learning more and I'm trying to get the more fresh produce, um, you know, even like I don't have the facilities to have a, a big garden, but uh, it, when I get a chance, I'm going to start like even gardening, and, you know, tomatoes or uh, stuff like that. So, you know, but I'm, I'm a Cub Foods guy. I go to Cub Foods. Uh, you know, I can, uh, you know, um, yeah, so I'm a regular guy. Cub Foods, I don't necessarily go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or none of that stuff. You know what I mean? But Trader Joe's is a really good place with reasonable price if you want to check it out. Sometimes it's like three or four dollars less than Whole Foods in Mississippi market. Okay, okay. Um, so one of the things I, I wanted to ask too. So for your community, what would you like to see? Um, they're doing like a food plan. So a food plan would be like um, where a community can come together and make sure everybody is healthy. So what would you like to see for a food plan in the community that you think everybody can benefit from? Um. Man, that's a that's a pretty deep question. Uh, that would that's that deserves a, a, a deep answer. Uh, you want me to give you an example? One person. No, I I, oh, I totally okay. understand what you're saying, but it's that's a this is a little bit longer than I was expecting. <laughs> um, I, I, I guess I guess com community coming together. Uh, you know, have getting the knowledge, um, uh, coming together, gardening their own food. Um creating their own produce, fruits and vegetables. Uh, as far as African Americans, we need to have our own stores. The stores that we do have, we need to support them. Uh, and we need to, they need to be created and we need to support them. And uh, I think, I think that's where it begins. Yeah. Okay, and that's the shallow answer, I guess. But the, one of the examples that's the, the really good when I heard is like, we do a community kitchen. Okay. Where everybody comes together and share recipes of their culture and yeah. stuff like that and bring food and stuff together. So I think that's a really good one. That's but a what great you said is really good too. Yeah, that's a great that's idea a too. Start, it's yeah. a lot of different it's a lot of things that need to be done. So that's why I said that question right. is real deep. <laughs> And, uh, it, you know, that would be a longer, a little bit more of a but longer if interview. But actually here, we have to start talking about it. We definitely do. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. Um, and speaking of talking about it, uh, the U of M and the Urban Farm and Garden Alliance, we will be doing another uh, community engagement uh, 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 event coming up soon. So everybody be looking out for that. And I okay. hope hope you all can attend. The last one was a success. And, yeah, that's, that's really where it starts is starting the conversation. And um, tell me your name again. Michael. Okay. Yep. Thank, right. you. yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank <laughs> you. Nice. Nice interview, Michael.